Greetings World Walkers, Fyof here and it finally happened, the fusion rifle, the very last weapon you get in Remnant from the Ashes, from the very last boss in that game, is now available practically in Remnant 2. In order to get it you have to do a couple of things, but first I'm gonna explain what I mean by the fusion rifle, because in Remnant 2 there is a whole category of weapons that are named after this moniker. In Remnant 1, in case you didn't play that game, there was a weapon called the Fusion Rifle and you got it from Harsgard the very last fight of the game. Since I completed my hardcore run and got the Savior in Remnant 2, I was very disheartened by the fact that it was a weapon I really wanted to like but I would probably never use. I didn't like the way it fired and I didn't like its ability. It's the common consensus that the gun was very underwhelming and I've never ever seen a person tackle the two highest difficulty settings using the savior. Well, now it seems like you can turn the savior into an indeed powerful tool. You need to do certain things. First and foremost, you need to complete hardcore. Completing hardcore will let you the savior. Then you go to the pan here in the world and if you have the savior, you will be able to corrupt it right here. It's not listed for me at the moment because I have already corrupted it and you will not see the already corrupted tools available here for corruption. In case you're wondering, once you corrupt it, you do not have to run hardcore again. You can come here to Burbus and he will be selling the stock weapon again. Let's just prove it to put your mind at ease. Here it is, the savior, after I have already turned it into the corrupted form. Of course it will not be listed as fusion rifle because that's a, an archetype now, but you can see it right here as a corrupted savior plus 10. Keep in mind that the new savior you'll get will be level 0, you will have to relevel it if you want to use it. So what's good about this thing? Well first and foremost is a fully automatic 50 in the mag machine gun. You can see here it expands its magazine quite quickly and we're gonna take a look at the stats. Damage of 51, runs per second of 3, magazine of 50. I'm gonna take a look at the critical hit chance here, it's a 10, pretty good for its archetype, on par with the typewriter. For a large mag with adequate crit, this is one of the alternatives we have now, something that wasn't really the case before. Now my build is not really showcasing the powers of this weapon because it is mainly a skill damage build. It is relied upon Havoc form to wreak Havoc. I could make a vid on this build if you want, let me know in the comment section below. So I am running crit build up for refreshes without using the loop because I don't like it because you take a shit load of damage if you have it equipped and what you can do with this thing is keep firing it and when you go really low in your mag reserves you can go into the special ability and fire it. According to how many mod charges you have on the bottom right, the damage of this attack will be exponentially higher and if you go for mod damage, something I am not doing, you'll see numbers much larger than that 4500 that you saw there. Then to rebuild your charges you have to keep firing the gun. The problem here is that once you expand those charges, the RPM of the gun drops dramatically until you can build them up again. So the gun is kind of a conundrum in itself. In order to have high firing rate, you have to have your charges available. Having your charges available pretty much means that you are not using its mod. From what I understand from this is that the mod is a last ditch burst damage method. It's like the peak of your magazine's damage if you want to kill an enemy before having to reload or swap guns. So if you know you're going in for the kill and you're just missing a ton of damage, you just swap to the mod, fire it and deal a good chunk before you have to fall back to the reloading loop. 
Now the fusion cannon mod reads funnels all current mod charges into a powerful penetrating beam. The beam deals 450 damage and increases the L damage dealt. Recoil and beam thickness per charge consumed. Max 5 charges. So the more charges you have, the more damage you get. Less recoil and the beam thickness, meaning what it will actually penetrate. What's strange to me is that although it calls itself a penetrating beam, it's not really that penetrating. I don't see the beam going through all these dummies and I haven't really been able to consistently replicate it during gameplay. Maybe it has something to do with the angles, maybe it's a little bugged, but for the time being, what I would suggest you do with this ability is just aim it so you deal extreme damage to the thing in front of you. Now when it comes to builds, and because I don't have one build appropriate to showcase the power of the gun and I don't want to BS you, what I would do with this thing is either go a real high mod damage and use the beam after charging it, improving my RPM by usage of equipment so it fires faster, refills the charges faster and can use the mod faster, or even better you can go for a high crit chance build because its base is already 10%, and by improving this chance, you have a 50 in the mag gun with quite decent damage that can keep hammering at the enemy and then allowing you for a big spike of additional pain dealing. Comparing it here with the Chicago typewriter, the damage is 30, RPS is 11 and magazine is 80. This 11 in comparison to the 3 from the fusion is actually very deceptive because if you have all your charging in the fusion the RPS is quite fast as well but damage wise the fusion rifle the corrupted savior deals almost 40% more than the typewriter does. So since the rest of the stats are pretty comparable, quick spot damage on the typewriter is 5% more than the fusion rifle, but since the damage is quite lower, that is detrimental in my opinion. You have to either go for a larger magazine and go utility with this, or if you want more damage, it will make sense that you would prefer the corrupted savior. There really is a substantial difference here, and according to how you build, you might want to go for it. For the mod, I 100% recommend momentum. Momentum is great because it ups your crit. The longer you fire the thing, the higher the chance of critting will be and since it has 50 bullets in the mag and you have about 3 seconds to reload it if you build for weapon efficiency you can have faster reloads and keep that momentum going for longer periods of time gun can be quite devastating with the right build for me right now it's pretty much a crit machine so I can get my havoc form back faster but for you it might be a high crit fast firing weapon or a mod shredding weapon if you go for mod damage. So this is it world walkers, I hope this was interesting, I just wanted to bring to your attention the fact that the fusion rifle is back as the corrupted saber this time, very worthwhile weapon, much better than the stock saber in my humble opinion, I hated the fact that they brought it back that way and I pretty much never touched it. Might have been wrong. You can let me know in the comment section below if there is something about the OG savior that is a saving grace and I just didn't understand because I'm a dumbass. If you want me to make more vids like this please let me know in the comment section below. I covered quite a bit of Remnant 2 when it came out, gave it a rest but we're expecting DLC and I will be back at it if there is demand for the content. Sub like and hit the notification bell and until next time be well stay frosty and always travel perfection. Cheers!